Matt from Total MTG here, and today we are doing the Eldritch Moon Top 5 Mythics. Now, I will say that these are my personal choices, like I said in the other videos, the top fives. Uh, so, not necessarily the best ones, but cards that I probably want to brew around and cards that I like, so they're not maybe be the most expensive, or maybe a couple of them will, but we'll have to wait and see. So, we're going to go in at number five with Mirrowing Dragon. Uh, it's three and two red. It's a 4-5 dragon with flying. Uh, not quite in the old Storm Breath category. This one's Storm Breath Dragon. But I think it's quite nice. It's 4-5, so it's you know it's a big body. Uh, when a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, that's target only mirroring dragon. That player copies that spell for each other creature he or she controls. Um, each copy targets a different one of those creatures. So basically, you know, if, if an opponent tries to kill it, maybe with a, you know, a kill spell, it would potentially kill all their creatures. That's the way I'm sort of reading it. Um, and obviously if you pump it, it goes to all the other creatures as well. So it does look a pretty, you know, fun sort of card. So in at number five is Mirroring Dragon. My number four card is Deploy the Gatewatch. You know me, I love my Planeswalkers, and this is a way to hopefully get Planeswalkers onto the battlefield. It's quite expensive, four and two white. Not an expensive card. It's sorcery. You get to look at the top seven cards of your library, put up to two Planeswalker cards from among them onto the battlefield, put the rest onto the bottom in any order. So, yeah, it's got to be in the deck that's, you know, very Walker-friendly, uh, Walker Super Friends deck. Maybe in an EDH deck or something like that as well. It might be good in EDH. But Deploy the Gate, which looks fun to me, and I'll definitely try it in one kind of standard brew if I can, that's for sure. So, in at number three comes Emrakul, the Promise End. Um, we got an Emrakul. It's not quite like, well, it's nothing near as good as the, the Emrakul Tions. But, you know, this is quite a nice card. It's a 13-13 for 13, all the 13s. So good maybe with a Tricecadovia, <laughs> just for a bit of uh, flavour. Uh, Emrakul, the Promise End, costs one less to cast for each card type among cards in your graveyard. So potentially it could cost a little bit less as well. When you cast it, you gain control of target opponent during that player's next turn. After that turn, they take an extra turn. Has flying trample protection from instance. So, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting card. Maybe used in the Eldrazi decks. Um, definitely, you know, if I manage to get hold of some, I'll give it a try. See how, it like, you know, see how good it is. Um, yeah, let me know if you're going to be brewing with Embracle. What decks you think would be best in? Probably rampant Eldrazi decks, obviously. Um, do you think it could see modern play? I'm a bit doubtful, but I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it could, but I do like the card. And it comes in at number three. Number two is Grim Flayer. Um, Low-costing creature, because a green and a black is a 2-2 two -two with trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library. Put any number of them into your grave and the rest on back on top of your library in any order. You know, this card just seems brilliant as an early drop in Abzan colours or anything like that. It just seems a really good card. Also, as Delirium, Grim Flag gets plus 2-2 two, two, as long as there are four more card types as well. So it could potentially be a 4-4 four, four as well. Um, but I like the ability of when it deals combat damage. That's why it's important to have the trample and getting to look at the top three cards. Um, I just think it's, you know, a good little sorting card and a good little early creature. So it comes in at number two. So my number one card, it has to be a Planeswalker. It's Tamiyo Field Researcher. Cost one a green, white, and blue. I just love this Tamiyo card. I'm a fan of Tamiyo. Uh, plus one is choose up to two target creatures until your next turn. Either of those creatures do come at damage. You draw a card. The minus two is tap up to two target non-land permanents. They don't untap. Draw the next uh, controls untap step. And the minus seven is draw three cards. Fair enough. But then you get an emblem with you may cast non-land cards from your hand without paying their mana costs. I mean, that just... I'd love to get... Yeah, hopefully my... My mission will be to um, minus seven the Tamiyo for sure. Get that emblem. It will be really, really fun. Anyway, guys, this has been my top five mythics from the Eldritch Moon set. Hope you enjoyed this little mini-series of the top fives from Eldritch Moon. Um, please leave a like and subscribe in the comments and let me know what your top five mythics are as well. See if we agree. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers, guys.